Hey campers, look at all the room for activities in here. This bed right here is 86 and a half inches by 72 inches. Bigger than a king size bed as far as width goes. You guys have to check this out. This is a Sunset Park 18 TB. All right, let's go over this 2023 Sunset Park 18 TB. Starting right up front, this does have a power tongue jack with the light on it. It also has a manual override. Comes with two propane tanks and the battery disconnect switch right in the back. Currently I have the jump pack hooked up just to run the awning and show everything for 12 volt on this camper right now. So, all right, then we'll go over into here, which shows our pass-through storage. Nice little pass-through storage in here to store a lot of things. Does also access your water pump, shows your fresh water tank in there as well. Then we go out right here. This is our fire escape window that does pop open from the inside. Right above shows our gutter. Then we have our Lippert ladder on the go rack. You can buy the Lippert ladder to go and then attach that right there. That is a cool little uh, telescoping ladder. You know, they aren't cheap, but they're awesome. All right, right here next to your baggage door is going to be your fresh water connections, your fresh water fill right here, your city water connection here. Fresh water fill is when you're filling a tank using your water pump and you're off grid boondocking or traveling by pulling over on the throughway or a uh, rest stop. That way you need the pressure and you're using your water pump. City water connections when you're camping at the campground or you're at your house, you plug into the water hose, you turn on the pressurized water and you already have the pressure so you don't need the water pump. Two different water systems here. All right, we do have four stabilizer jacks on this camper. These are just to uh, stabilize the unit. They're not made to level them. They're not made to lift them up to change a spare tire. All right, water heater here, tires, coaxial cable if you want to get a TV inside and get a uh, you know cable or Wi-Fi. Right here is your outside shower with the hot and cold water with your sprayer that comes out. Right here is your back flush tank. So you can flush and sanitize your black tank system. Down below is our dump station and our fresh water, or our low point drains. So gray is okay, black is for crap. Gray is for drains, black is for waste and for your toilet. Back here you do have a square style bumper where you can replace this end or take out this end and you can actually put sewer hoses in here or just store things inside of here. Or you can buy like different accessory mounts like this spare tire here that is connected by a bracket on there. That bracket can be moved around or you can put things like bike racks on here or even like grill mounts. All right, while we're at the back, we'll look at the porch light up top. You can get the awning, uh, back awning for this if you want to. Doesn't come on this one, but it is available. All right, in the back, we have our solid steps down here. I love these solid steps. All we have to do is make sure our doors open all the way before we open and close them. And they pop right in like that for easy storage, no debris getting all over the place. I personally always put storage blankets on the inside so if it gets wet out, I can just dump the water on something that absorbs it rather than just a welcome mat that doesn't really absorb too much water. It takes the dirt fine, but not the water too much. So then just unlatch here. I always pull from the center and just let it down. But the thing I love about these is I don't have to worry. I don't have to look at it. I know that I'm on a solid step. I know that I'm not going to have to play a balancing act when I'm going into it. Before we walk inside, let's just go over on the other side, just point out anything else. Right above the door up here is also a bracket for a backup camera. It is a common RV bracket, universal RV bracket, if you just want to buy the backup camera or security camera for it. So. Right now I do have the awning opened up. Don't quote me, well, instead of guessing, let's just look. 
The awning size on this is not on here. Being that this is a 19 foot trailer, I'm going to guess that this is a 14 foot awning. I'm not 100% sure guys, so don't quote me on that. All right, so this has a two way fridge in here, which is an electric or a gas fridge. The reason why I know that is because right here is the outside access for it. And you only have access for either a two way or three way with propane. So, and at this stage of the game, we're only playing with two way fridges. This is a propane or electric. Down below, we have our furnace exhaust, outside speakers, 110 outlet here. Beautiful aluminum wheels. I do love that about them. Couple speakers. Right here is the adjustable arm. You just open this a little bit and you can swing it down. That way you can adjust the pitch on it if you need to while it's raining. The other side of your pass through storage. Now, let's go inside and check this thing out. So the overall length on this trailer is 19 foot long. The overall height on this trailer is nine foot, 11 inches. Um, as far as the width goes, we're talking seven and a half feet. And as far as the interior height goes, we're talking six and a half feet. I'm six foot two and have plenty of room in here. So as soon as I walk in directly to my right hand side is this beautiful large residential style fridge. This is a two way fridge. Let me get inside the door so I can pop it open for us. Nice and large fridge, nice large freezer. Right next to that, we've got our dinette. This dinette does turn down into a bed. All we do is pop this up, take the legs out and hide them, put this down into the bracketry right here, and that turns into a bed. And that's a decent sized dinette. Right up top is some cabinets. Also up top is our air conditioner. You're seeing how those operate. Then we're going over into the king size bed. So this bed right here is 72 inches by 86 and a half. Or you can pop this right out here. And technically, right there is a table. So now you have two twin beds. Or you can put the table up and use it for a U-shaped dinette. So at the end of the video, I will show you a couple of the different sleeping accommodations in here and show you it with the table up. But for right now, we'll just move on to the next. So above that, we have our cabinets right above your bed. You have the 12 volt fan with a vent and speakers. Over here into the kitchen area. Microwave up top, stereo with HDMI, USB, aux, and Bluetooth. So you can hook this right up to your TV or to your, uh, yes, you can hook it up to your TV or to your laptop or your uh, phone. Some more cabinets. Down below, we've got our huge sink. And what they're doing is trying to give you covers to give you ample amounts of room. That is one huge sink with the stainless steel faucet. And again, with the sink cover to give you more countertop space, just like they put this on top of the stovetop. Three burner stove. This is not tempered glass. Again, it's more or less just made so you have more countertop space, but you do want to put, you know, plate holders and hot plates underneath. All right, so we do have an oven in here. As much storage as they can give you. Access to your water tank, the water heater as well. Drawer. Under the sink. Carbon monoxide detector over here on the ground. Fire extinguisher. Then we're going into our master control panels here. So we've got our light, more lights, awning, water pump, water heater, and then this is our solar controller, which 
does offer a 100 watt solar up top. Speaking of up top, you do have a walkable roof on here as well. Then we go into our actual dry bath, but right above all of our master control panels is going to be where we can hook up our TV with a TV backer plate and the connections to plug it in. HDMI, coaxial, 12, uh, 6 volt or 12 volt, and then our 110 outlets. All right, so now into our dry bath. So we've got the toilet with our fan and our vent above it. And then we go into our shower with our skylight above it. So the best part about this camper, again, it's 19 foot long, well built, cool, unique floor plan, huge bed, real bath, large fridge, cool awning. All of this is only 2,920 pounds. It's only 19 foot long. There. Now I have a full U-shaped dinette with a whole bunch of room for as many people as we need. Now let's switch this dinette into a bed. Back cushions out just to make things easier. Tabletop out. Tabletop down into the bracket. Which is a couple pieces of wood that are obvious right here under like beyond the framing. So when you do look at it, it's pretty noticeable. Take the back cushions and right here is your bed. Now I'm 6'2", and I can fit in here flat-footed. So this is exactly 6'2", maybe 6'3", because I have the shoes on. Thanks for sticking through the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and watch some more. And if you do, hit that little subscribe button, because I really, really appreciate you. Thanks for joining me.